Well, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to WorkSports channel on a mission to make a difference with innovative off-grid energy solutions. Joining us to give us a high-level overview of some incredible news, uh, just some of the earnings highlights and just the continued scale um, of this company. We have Stephen, the CEO, uh, back here as always. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me again. Yeah, I love having you back on because you guys are playing in this fascinating uh, field of just kind of extending the idea of energy with these trucks. As you recently completed the production of the first 1,100 um, hard folding covers for compatible with Ford, GM, Stellantis, Nissan, uh, Toyota trucks, and you want even the the Ford Lightnings, right? So in tandem, uh, as you've kind of scaled out the production of this, you've also uh, increased uh, your Q4 year over year revenue to 839k, which was a 2,050% increase. Do you want to discuss the growth and just kind of what you're seeing here and just break this down for us? Sure. I mean, it's it's a it's a lot of work. It's taken a lot of um, you know. My my management team is I think world class, um, and we've built something. We built a rocket ship here, um, but it takes time. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. You've heard all the sayings, right? Uh, can't boil the ocean's water overnight. We we bought our factory a couple of years ago. We tooled the factory, repaired it, uh, got it ready to go, and we started producing product. Uh, really, really late last year. Um, and for us to be able to produce our first thousand tonneau covers um, is really the first step through the gate of something amazing because what options does it open up? Number one, we're already seeing it on the balance sheet and that's execution. That's ex execution 101 to see these thousand percent increases. Our mandate this year is to bite into eight figures. Now, how deep we bite into uh, that that eight figure realm in terms of revenues, we don't know. We know we're profit. We know we're profitable uh, at, at at around fifteen million dollars. Um, so we're obviously going to try to show some EBITDA, some cash flow. Um, but the point is that we built it. Now we're having the revenue increase, and in order for us to be able to release our solar tunnel cover that everyone's frothing over, our battery system to turn pickup trucks into microgrids, and and power. Uh, off-grid exploration on a global scale, we need to first make the tunnel cover. So the golden egg is the tunnel cover. Now electrifying it, integrating it with solar technology is something we've been working on for a while, and we're going to be launching that real soon too. So it's we're just starting. Yeah, definitely appreciate the insight there. And kind of just speaking of this scale of growth, you recently announced a new distribution partner uh, with Dick's Performance uh, North to expand the kind of the presence across Canada. Uh, do you want to just kind of uh, abbreviate some of this as well? Yeah, I mean. It, it, it's our backyard. We are, um, I'm Canadian. I'm, well, I'm American and Canadian, but I, I'm right now I'm in Toronto. Um, and being Canadian, obviously we're going to take care of our backyard as, um, you know, our neighbors. Um, they're right here. Dick's performance is uh, within, within this country. And we've, we've invested considerably into developing that relationship. They're a growing distributor. And our goal is to, make WorkSport a name, uh, a staple name B2B in their dealer jobber networks all across Canada. Uh, so that when one drives into a truck accessory or an RV shop looking for that next tonneau cover for their brand new Ford or Ram or, or Toyota or GM or, or Nissan, um, the, it, it's WorkSport, right? And uh, and so we're, we're already showing execution in terms of building our B2B network as well. And these are one of my famous, one, not not one of my famous things. One of the things I love the most is uh, from the humble oak, uh, from the humble uh, acorn grew the mighty oak. And these are these are acorns we're planting, and they'll flourish as we develop those relationships uh, to help become make WorkSport become uh, a facet in Canada and of course in the U.S. So just to kind of uh, talk about that growth story. So you guys are primarily focused uh, in North America when it comes to the U.S. and Canada. And you're kind of just, would you state that maybe 2024 is this period of scale? Are you guys looking to continue to do partnerships and you're looking to scale this massively? Do you want to just kind of, I know we discussed some milestone expectations, but maybe just tell us a little bit again about what you're focused on here. Yeah, so we're focused on, we're focused on not doing what our competitors do. Um, and our competitors have the same products, B2B, B2C direct to consumer, and then to their dealer customers. So they're, they're really creating this difficult environment for growth when um, they compete with themselves. Uh, if they offer a, a sales rebate on one of their websites, direct to consumers, it, it really upsets the distribution. Uh, distribution's worried about um, if, uh, if if their own vendor, the manufacturer is going to uh, to kind of uh, push them out of the market because they have the, they have the power too. 
Our mandate is to continue to make meaningfully different products for different markets. Dyson does this really well. Um, they have a very expensive vacuum that you usually can buy just on their website. And then, and some people look at that saying, wow, I really want that thousand dollar vacuum. Uh, and that's what drives the sales at Walmart's uh, for the $500 vacuum or the $400 vacuum. So our intention is to continue to execute building our business to business with uh, unique products and then offering our premium products direct to consumers like our solar solace tunnel cover or our core battery system um, within the US and within Canada this year. Um, we, we, I mean, we just pulled customer lists um, for cut B2B customers in the US alone um and uh and that list so we have three different tiers of customers uh i always i always live bronze silver gold gold customers are uh abc tunnel covers uh silver customers are abc auto parts maybe not specifically tunnel covers or truck accessories and then silver customers are abc rv sales where people are driving pickup trucks there but they're not there to buy a tunnel cover just of our gold um customers we have fifteen thousand leads on that list we have a lot of numbers to dial. We have a lot of doors to knock on. That's how I've been able to build my businesses since I was 18. I'm 38 now by making calls, knocking on doors. My team behind me is really aggressive, not aggressive, hungry for it too. And that's what we're going to be doing for the rest of this year. Different products, building our B2B and allowing that success to drive interest business to consumer. On that note, I appreciate all the insights. And we'll pass it off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think, but consider subscribing because this news catalyst continue to hit the wire. Of course, we'll bring it to you here. But on that note, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one. Excellent. Thank you very much.